Well, Jaden, how'd it go? Well, I learned a lot of things. He's not just an Air Force veteran, but he was also an astronaut. <laughs> kind of cool stuff that happens here at Air and Space, isn't it? It only happens at Air and Space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we've got one more person we'd like you to meet. Come on. Jaden, this is Bella. She's gonna do an interview with a veteran too. Can you give her some tips? Sure. All right, you guys get to work. Well, Bella, how are you feeling about interviewing your veteran today? I'm a bit nervous. So would you be interested in learning just a few tips about that? I would love to. So you're interviewing this veteran. What's going through your mind when you're doing this? What questions will I give the veteran if I say the question wrong? Well, just a few I've collected over time. I would first say when you're interviewing someone, um, get some background knowledge ahead of time. I think it's easier to develop questions. I think if they wrote like a memoir or a book, um, you should check that out because other people when they're interviewing, they want to talk about one specific thing. But there may be something that they missed when they were reading their story that you could bring out. What's the most surprising thing you've ever learned? So I think when you're talking to someone, um, think of them as a person because um, if you're not, you're going to think, oh wow, I'm not prepared to do this. Um, I don't know who this person is. I've never talked to someone like this. Is there anything I should bring to an interview? Before you bring the camera, you should kind of get an understanding of what, you know, what's going on, maybe chat with them ahead of time. And then that's when I say you could bring in a camera of sorts. And, I, and that could be a phone, that could be an iPad. Anything that records, I guess, HD video is always good. Um, a microphone is always beneficial. What do you do when the interviewee is answering your question, like with your hands, with your face? Shake your head to kind of understand that you're listening and you're understanding what they're doing. Um, smile so then they don't feel as if they're like being really like grilled or made uncomfortable. Um, I think my third thing, I guess for your hands, just I guess keep them in your lap and or do the same thing that person's doing when you're asking them the question. So make sure that your that your body language is matching the other person. I just try to listen without you know interrupting, um, you know, but whether they're taking a pause and thinking about something. Okay. And then I think another one is you always have to thank and acknowledge them for taking time out of their day. Well, Bella, I think you're ready for your interview. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. Have a good time. Bye. Bye.